Oh, hey guys, Airgun Angie with Airgun Web and Airgun Web TV. I've got my Crossman backpacker from the bug out kit and today I'm going to change out the breech. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure there is not a pellet in the breech, which there is not. Then I'm going to let the air out the chamber. So just put it on fire. Make sure you push the bolt forward again. Put it on fire and pull the trigger. Okay guys, so I've got all my stuff laid out. After I've made sure there were no pellets in the breech and cleared all the air out, it's time to get to work. I'll start by taking the rear sights off. I'll need my flathead screwdriver for this. This screw also acts as half of the hammer spring screw. I'll need a square bit driver for this. After I've taken that off, I'll flip the backpacker upside down and take the other screw out. I'll tightly place my finger over the hammer spring plug so the spring doesn't shoot out when I remove the screw. Remove the plug and the spring. Be sure to place all your pieces and parts in a safe place. I like a white or light colored towel or cloth. Now I'm going to pull the bolt back to have access to the teeny tiny breech screw. For this one it takes careful ability. I have no idea if that's a word. Anyways, so the screw doesn't get stripped. Just wiggle it until it busts loose. Remove that screw completely. To loosen the barrel band, I will use a Phillips head screwdriver. Don't take the screw all the way out. Loosened enough to be able to move the barrel around. Now I can remove the plastic breech and we're almost done. Be sure not to lose the transfer port. Remove it before it removes itself. Put it in a safe place. Now I'll slide the bolt inside the breech and screw my personalized, one of my favorite colors, threaded bolt handle to the bolt. Follow up with some test slides. Now it's time to place the transfer port back in place and slide the steel breech onto the barrel. Be sure to align the transfer port uprightly with the matching hole in the bottom of the breech. Straighten the barrel and push it tight into the steel breech. Insert the very small barrel retaining grub screw into the hole toward the front of the breech and tighten it. This will tighten the barrel and hold it in place. After the barrel's tight, pull the bolt back to access the breech, replace the teeny tiny breech screw and tighten it. Now I can replace the rear breech plug and the hammer spring and retention plug. Be sure to line the holes up properly on the plugs and remember there are two screws to complete this step.
Now a few more test slides. Very last, tighten the Phillips screw on the barrel band, then that's a wrap. Well guys, that's it. I got the steel breech on my Crossman backpacker from Pyramid Air. This is from the bug out kit. And I've even personalized my bolt. Love it. I can now put a scope on it. So cool. So I'm gonna be doing that soon. I have the Mantis scope from Pyramid Air right here. And that's what I'm putting on it. So please join me for that. Thank you all for watching this. I'm Airgun Angie with Airgun Web and Airgun Web TV. Thank you so much, Pyramid Air. We'll see you all next time.